So here in our question, we are giving vectors A and B such that the magnitude of A is 3 cm, the magnitude of B is 10 cm, and the magnitude of vectors A plus B is root 139. We have to find the angle between A and B and the dot product of A and B. And um, first, before we just go ahead to um, try and evaluate this, I would like to draw a representation of vectors A and B so that we have A plus B. Now, the first thing that should come to mind is the parallelogram law of vectors. Since we are having vector A and vector B and vectors and vector A plus B. So, if you are to note our Cartesian coordinate and let's say this is our A and we also have our B like this inclined at an angle to each other the vector you draw A plus B we can denote as the resultant of the two vectors okay so if we draw a parallel to vector B and another parallel to vector A the vector A plus B which is the resultant vector is going to be looking like the diagonal here so this is vector a plus b and then we're asked to find the angle between vectors a and b that's being shown in green that is the angle between vectors a and b all right so let's call that alpha but now looking at this diagram we can note another angle here so this angle, we will call it theta. Now, by the cosine rule, which is the resolution of the parallelogram law of vectors, normally we can express A, B, and A plus B um, in a relationship with one another. And that is given that the magnitude of A plus B raised to power 2 is equal to the magnitude of A raised to power 2 plus the magnitude of B raised to power 2 minus 2 multiplied by magnitude of A multiplied by magnitude of B multiplied by the cosine of angle theta. And we are noting our angle theta already. It's not the angle between the vectors A and B. It's just as noted in the diagram. So if we are to substitute um, with respect to all these values, we are going to have um, root 139 raised to power 2 is equal to 3 raised to the power 2 plus 10 raised to the power 2 minus 2 times 3 times 10 cos theta. Now, we don't know theta and we know the other value. So, we can say we want to evaluate that. The square root and the square will knock themselves out so that we have 139. 3 raised to the power 2 is 9. 10 raised to the power 2 is 100. 2 times 3 times 10 is 60. So, we have this. And if we move 60 cos theta to the left hand side, that will give us one, 9 plus 100 is 109. Then when 39, 139 moves to the right hand side, that will be minus 139. So we have 60 cos theta is equal to minus 30. And if we divide both sides by 60, okay, so we have cos theta is equal to minus, that's 1 over 2, that's minus 0 0.5. So theta will be arc cos 0 minus 0 0.5. Now, we don't want to make that mistake. We don't want to leave out the neg negative sign. So we have arc cos minus 0 0.5. So if we take out our calculator, I will try to evaluate that. That will be 120 degrees. So angle theta is 120 degrees. Now, but looking at the diagram that we noted the other time we are asked to find angle half and not angle theta but because um this vector a is also parallel to this notation line that we indicated before this is also angle alpha and alpha and theta actually they are supplementary they add up to 180 so we can say that theta and alpha they are supplementary so since they are supplementary like that that means that they add up to 180 degrees so we can say that um 
theta plus alpha is equal to 180 degrees and that means that alpha is equal to 180 minus theta now we have gotten theta to be 120 degrees so our alpha will be 180 minus 120 and that will be equal to 60 degrees so the angle between vectors a and b is 60 degrees so now we're asked to find the dot product of vectors a and b now the scalar or dot product is defined as a product of the equilibrium magnitudes and the cosine of the angle between the two vectors and here we are talking about vectors a and b so a dot b is equal to magnitude of a multiplied by magnitude of b cos the angle between the two we have gotten that angle to be 60 so we know the magnitude of a and b inputting that we are going to have 30 cos 60 and cos 60 is 0 0.5 so that will be 30 multiplied by 0 0.5 and that is 15. That's all we are going to be having for today is Dave Tooth Academy and if you have found this video useful go ahead and subscribe to the channel click on the notification icon like the videos share with your loved ones share with your friends share with your younger ones share with your relatives and together let's build academic excellence in students until next time god bless you